Hi everyone! Welcome back to my channel and I am Louise. So today I want to do a book review on Think Like a Monk by Jay Shetty. And I actually stumbled on this book in the library when I was renewing my library card. And when I was looking at the self-help book section, I just came across that and I thought, Think Like a Monk, that's a very interesting name. And so I was like, okay, I might as well check it out and see what it's about. So before I read the book, I didn't think monks did much other than not eat meals, meditate, and wear plain clothing. And I just saw them as boring beings that really didn't know how to enjoy life. So after reading the book, I realized that the author was not trying to persuade us to be like a monk but to think like a monk. And monks have a lot of self-control and they fill their lives with happiness and peace most and all of the time. And it's really hard to have the self-control as a monk. But Ajay teaches you how to do that in this book and not only to have self-control but to respect others and to respect yourself, to really go into your mind's ego um, istic ways and solve those problems and really find out how you can live a more fulfilling life through peace and respect and also service to others. So Jay talks about a lot of things in this book. I am just going to talk about some points that I think are important. So first I want to talk about doing things with intention. So how? So how do we do things with intention, you may ask? Well, we first have to dig into the why behind the want. You have to ask yourself, why are you doing this? What is the reason behind why you want to do this? If you don't know the reason, you're walking around aimlessly doing nothing. So there's no purpose, there's no sense of direction, and you become lost in life. So asking yourself the purpose allows you to see past that result and ask yourself tons of questions about why you're willing to do this and are you willing to do the work that gets there. For example, let's say you have a surgeon friend and your other friend says, I wish I could be like him. I wish I could be a surgeon. But has your friend ever thought about the work that it takes to get there? Is he or she or they willing to put in that work to become a surgeon? A lot of times we want the outcome and don't think about the process to get there. We want the outcome very fast and immediate, but we don't think about whether we really, really want to be in that person's shoes. And Jay talks about in the book how we should do things with intention. When you do things with intention, you realize why you're doing it. Is it just because your mom is asking you to do it? Or is it because you truly want to do it for yourself? The second point I want to point out is Dharma. So Dharma was definitely a new word that I learned in Jay Shetty's book. And it basically means kind of like finding your purpose, kind of finding what you really want to do in life. Like what is your point in life? Kind of like that. And his equation for Dharma or his definition of Dharma is that it follows passion plus expertise in that area plus usefulness. So passion is basically what you really want to do, what you want to do when nothing's holding you back, and what you really love to do. And the expertise in that area is talking about your skills. And the usefulness is basically saying that how can you use your skills and passion to help those in need? How can you be of service to others? And in the last part of the book, he talks a lot about service and how service is basically the direct path to happiness and fulfillment because you are basically solving others' problems, not only to help them be happier, but you yourself will be happier. Scientific evidence points out that when you help someone, such as volunteering at a charity, it definitely boosts your mood as well as the person being helped. So in this book, I really like how he says, like in order to find your dharma, you have to ask yourself these two questions. First, did you enjoy that activity? And then second, you ask, did other people enjoy it? Did other people find it helpful? So 
in his book he talks about how when you become a monk in the morning routines you dedicate that time to meditate to clean the ashram i think i said that right ashram ashram yeah the temple basically um but you basically dedicate that time to yourself in the mornings and then you help others in the afternoon and night so half the day is for yourself the other half is for others and that's like that balance between the two that keeps our lives happy and fulfilled so the third point i want to talk about is detachment versus attachment and basically he says that nothing owns us in any way and we are not owned by anyone else either like a lot of our possessions and especially material possessions or even status titles are not who we are like who we are isn't any of these and it's just like our mind and our soul and our physical body is none of this and in today's society we like to categorize ourselves into so many things such as smart, pretty, tall, fat, a plethora of other things too. And when we we categorize these things because it's easier to um, see ourselves in that way, it's easier to see who we are because society categorizes these things and that's how we identify ourselves. But in Think Like a Monk, Jay Shetty talks about how we should dissociate from these things and not see ourselves stuck with this identity or with these identities. Like we are not just one box, one category. We are so much more than that. And he really points out the fact that a lot of the times we feel very attached to these things, but they are not truly who we are. So he talks about these possessions and I think an interesting point he makes is that he makes sure that you understand that these possessions were never yours. Even if you think you own a house or you own a dog, like those things were not yours. Like it's kind of weird in a sense that like obviously they're yours but they're not actually yours because everything around us were given by us like the knowledge money fame etc all these things were given by us all these things were owned by other people in the past and someday our things will be probably owned by others so it's like a continuity of life and that nothing owns us and we are not owned by anyone else too and to sum up the idea of detachment basically Jay Shetty says that the greatest detachment of all is not that you're not caring about anything the greatest detachment is when you're being so close to everything yet you don't let it consume you I was like so mind blown by that I was like dang you're being close to everything but you're not letting it consume you and I think that's the hard reality of life. A lot of times we can't balance these two things and that is why life seems to be lost and out of balance sometimes. The fourth point I want to make is the circle of love. So the circle of love is the idea that we're actually surrounded by love. And it may not seem like that and sometimes we think that the love that we send out to someone or give to someone should be reciprocated in the same way. But in Think Like a Monk, the author talks about how we shouldn't expect that to happen. And that instead we should look at the broader picture. And the broader picture is that we are all surrounded by love. And before you start complaining and saying that so and so didn't do this for me or so and so doesn't love me back. Have you ever thought about those who love you unconditionally and those who love you for who you are and never expect anything in return? For me, that's my parents and my family, and some of my friends too. But maybe for you, that's your best friend. Maybe for you, that's your uncle. I'm pretty sure you at least have one person in your life that could support you. And if you don't, look a little broader. There's always strangers on the way to work that say hi to you. Maybe they don't love you unconditionally, but at least there's like some gesture of warmth and welcoming to 
So before you start complaining about your life and saying how ungrateful people are about what you do for them, think about the broader picture and see who's out there and who's actually taking the time to be with you, to love you, and to understand you. So overall, I think you guys would really enjoy this book and go grab it in the library or go buy it on Amazon if you haven't yet. Think Like a Monk by Jay Shetty has really changed my perspective of how I think about the world and how I think about myself too. And it really hones in into how you should reflect on yourself more and it tells you a little bit more about who you are, where you are, and why you are. So if you haven't already, please go check it out. I think it's such a great book and full of wisdom. You'll definitely learn something from it. See you in the next video.